Hi, my name is Larry Lowe. I'm CEO of Aurora Applied Waterborne Technologies. Our market is the aggregated colored rocks that go into your high-end gunite swimming pool. Primarily, our market is in the swimming pool aggregate market for high-dollar uh, gunite swimming pools. Our major competitor up until five weeks ago was the 3M Corporation, which their aggregates a spin-off of their roofing division. Uh, they got out of the market, left a massive 30 million pound void that someone had to pick up. Their chemistry is basically a, a high temperature ceramic coating. So they're, they're locked into the small type aggregates uh, just due to heat expansion of the rock fractures, large rock. Our market is we handle every size of aggregate up to 5 eighteenths of an inch. Our chemistry allows us to do uh, a much broader palette of colors. We're not limited to high temperature in organics. One of the big issues we ran into is when we get into the larger rock, just by the design of the equipment, you tend to run into a lot of pinch points and fracturing as you process the, the aggregate. By lining our equipment with UHMW, it's allowed us a slicker surface, which is infinitely easier to clean between colors. We don't have the pinch points that we used to because of that lubrication we get from the UHMW. So we're capable of maintaining the nice round aggregate, which no one has been able to copy. And it's actually increased our throughput and lowered our power demand. So I'm real impressed with it so far. Two and a half months ago, we came up with an idea. Uh, one of our major issues that we have in this type of manufacturing is the uncolored rock, which comes in various sizes, enters this screw. The screw moves it up and the rock's constantly tumbling between the holes here. We introduce the color, so the rock colors itself by the intermixing. When we get into the larger aggregate, because of the metal to metal that we had prior to inserting the sleeve, we generated a lot of pinch points, which was fracturing the rock after it was colored. So at the end of the line, you would see these broken rocks that weren't colored properly. We also noticed that the once the UHMW went in, we had a slicker bed. It increased our throughput by almost 30% and eliminated the breakage. And the real big thing is our cleanup time has been reduced by almost 50% because the color, we haven't cleaned this yet, but a wet rag takes it right off where before it was etched into the metal and you had to chip it out with a crowbar and a putty knife. So it's reduced all of the, the manual side of this thing on the cleanup, increased efficiency. We know that we've reduced our electric consumption. We haven't actually done a measurement on it yet, but we can watch it on the amp meters and we're pulling about 15, 20% less uh, juice to move that rock up the hill. So we're in the process of building uh, four new models of this. That uh, This one will do about 2,000 pounds an hour. These will do 10,000 pounds of aggregate an hour. And they're all going to have the UHMW, this thin material in them for the efficiency. Another issue that we run into, all of our aggregate goes into swimming pool type applications for your high-end gunite pools. Anytime you've got a ferrous metal rubbing against ferrous metal, we have to put high intensity magnets on our line to pull that metal out because if it gets into the swimming pool, it will cause rust spots in the pool. And once that starts, you have to tear the whole pool out. Well, by going with the UHMW, we've eliminated that metal to metal contact entirely. And we virtually get zero uh, metal contamination out of the screws that we've incorporated that product into right now. So from a liability point of view, it's made our life a whole lot simpler. As you can see here, you can see the wear marks in the screw where we had it originally when it was metal to metal. Uh, by putting the UHMW liner in there, we've eliminated that. So not only have we reduced the metal contamination, we re reduced the wear on the screw itself. We, we don't have any true measurements yet as to how effective that's been, but we can see it day to day as far as the uh, scratching on the screw itself.